All right, so there are two um, other things that are happening here on the second floor that I need you to be aware of. Um, one of them is view range related. The other one is uh, spot elevation related. Um, for the, let's start with the view range, okay? The issue that I'm having, and, and some of you should have the same issue, assuming you have the same view properties, is that I created a ceiling here, and I, I don't know why that's showing over there, that's weird. Um, but I created another ceiling here. All right, so I have uh, two ceilings that are in the same room, they're at the same elevation, but when I go to the second floor RCP, I can't see that other roof, or ceiling, sorry. So there, there, I click this and that's my roof, so the ceiling is missing. It's very, you're, you're gonna find that as a new user in Revit, one of the most annoying things. It's, it's gotta be the most frustrating thing about Revit is that sometimes there are things that you can't see that you know are there. And, and yeah, so there's a whole article, I'll get it to you at some point, that says like 36 things to do when you can't find something in Revit. It's like a checklist. You go through and make sure that these things are good. Anyway, so one of those things, and the one that is the problem here is our view range. All right, so we lowered our view range where, the, where it cuts, but that doesn't change how much stuff it shows. So. Let's take a look at our view range property, um, properties, which is right here. Um, I want you to understand what the, uh, the view depth and the top is. Um, the way that the view depth works is um, basically it has an elevation, and anything that crosses that elevation is what's shown. And that's a very important distinction. It's not just anything that is below that elevation, it's anything that crosses that elevation. So right now we have the roof level is set as our view depth, meaning if we have a two foot cut plane here in section, that two foot cut plane falls somewhere around here, okay? And it aims upward to the roof level. Does that make sense? So anything that crosses that level is shown, like the roof. The roof, if I select it, it crosses the plane. It crosses the roof level. So, so that is shown, but this ceiling, which does not cross the roof level, if you look very carefully, this is where the roof level is, does not get shown. So we need to modify the view depth to increase that height so that that ceiling is crossing the threshold for what is shown in the view. Does that make sense? I hope you're not lying. Um, okay, well, we'll work on that. Um, so view range, um, what we've got to do is increase the value of the view depth. So we can change the view depth to say 10 feet and uh, you'll find that the ceilings now show. Uh, the cut plane, yes. The cut plane stays at two feet. That's just saying like, all right, I'm, I, it's like I'm laying on a bed that's two feet high and I can only see up to the roof level plus whatever is crossing the plane, which is silly. But, um, and then now I'm just saying, okay, I can see 10 feet higher than that. And I don't know what's going on with this. This is a weird condition. So let me look at the center section. I don't know what that is. Why is that shooting up? Oh, because it's going above yeah, the ridge. You're, you're going past the ridge then. Yeah, cool. Good call. Check that. So that needs to stop at the ridge. I will edit this boundary. I'll put a little piece in here. Good. I think we're good to go there. All right. So the other thing that I wanted to point out, guys, is uh, elevations. So the elevations, um, when you get to the second floor, you'll notice have... Um, a much higher number, like 18 feet, for instance. Um, the reason it's doing that is because there are different relative uh, measurement points, uh, or I shouldn't say relative me measurement points. There are different measurement methods to taking spot elevations. Um, so when you open up the types of spot elevation tags, you'll notice that they're, they're suffixed with either project or relative. Okay, project means that it's, it's measuring to the zero, zero, zero point, your origin or, or survey base point, you know, however you set up your file. 
the relative target is the one that's going to be relative to whatever level you've tagged it in. So you just need to just switch it to, to a relative tag. And then anything you tag here will show, um, yeah, relative to, uh, to the second floor. Okay? Any questions? No, Kevin. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it, is it recorded? Yes.